Hello and welcome back to the ministry and we're on part two of this word. Um, God's really just opening this up to me right now. We're talking about the four rivers, but he's kind of brought me to a level of revelation. He, at the end of the last part, I was talking about the movie Inside Man. Catch this. Your God ordained spouse was brought into an industry to literally be God's inside man. He might not have known he was God's inside man, but he was God's inside man, okay? <laughs> he was being sent into the situation in order to cultivate the scenario. And some of you God ordained spouses may know, because remember I told you the Lord showed me in some situations that your God ordained spouse has been playing possum for a while. He looked like he don't know, but he know. <laughs> he know what he doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. But to everybody else, he looks like he's up in the clouds someday on there. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's the nice one. He, he must obviously not know what he's doing. God's like, no, keep it like that. Make Let people think that they, mm-hmm. <laughs> Just slip right on in and do what you got to do. Getting back to the river. The river had these three to four precious stones, the, 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 the belladone, the gold, the onyx, and a mix of the gold, the onyx, and the belladone. So I say that that's the potential of fourth stone. But your God or spouse was given something by God. And because of how precious, precious this thing was, he was given a download. He was given potentially an object. And this brings me to my next part. I was literally watching MPT, my new favorite station. MPT2 has this show um, that reviews, I mean, I love watching it because they always have cooking shows and I love cooking shows. But this particular day I was cooking and listening to MPT and they were talking about this family and I can't remember whether they were Indian, Native American, um, or like Asian. I can't remember because I never really looked at the TV to see what their nationality was, but I was listening to the story and what they said is that they had, their family had been given a land, okay? And in this land, like they great, 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 I don't know how many far back greats, had been given this land to cultivate, to farm, to uh, build, and so on and so forth. But catch this, over time, whatever it was they were farming, they lost the ability to gain the nutrients out of the land. And it's funny because my friend... And I was talking about this the other day where she was talking about when you have a level of soil, okay, and you're cultivating this soil and you keep growing and keep growing and keep growing on it, you're taking the nutrients consistently out of the soil if you repetitively till the soil and keep growing food on it without replenishing the ground, Holy, here we go, here we go. Oh, follow me. I'm going somewhere. Woo! Come on, God, I just saw it. Um, if you don't continue to till that ground, the Lord just showed me. Okay, you want me to, to divert right there? The Lord is showing me the Sabbath. Jubilee. Come on, come on. He's showing me the Jubilee where you're supposed to, where God gave the instructions of how to divide the land. Come on, come on, let's go. Where he showed the people, you want me to go there, Lord? Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Okay, I found it. It's Leviticus 25, but I know Deuteronomy 30. Re repeats it as well in here it talks about what Moses was instructed to do by the Lord 
He says that the people of Israel, when they come into the land, which I give you, the land shall keep the Sabbath. How many of y'all have the Lord actually been having you keep the Sabbath? From sundown on Friday through to sundown on Saturday. I always go till Sunday morning or maybe even Sunday evening. But um, yeah, I've been keeping it. Um, when you come into the land, which gives you, with the land that shall be kept by the Sabbath of the Lord, six years, you shall now your field and six years, oh, you shall sow your field and for six years, you shall prune your vineyards. And gather in the fruits, but in the seventh year, there shall be a Sabbath of uh, Solomon rest in the land. And the Sabbath to the Lord, you shall now sow your field or prune your vineyard. You shall not sow your field or prune your vineyards. So you're going to have a period of time where you cannot sow. You're supposed to let that land rest and replenish itself. What grows of itself in your harvest, you shall not reap. And the grapes of your undressed vine, you shall not gather. It shall be a year of solemn rest in the land. The Sabbath of the land shall provide food for you and for yourself of your male and your female slaves and for your hired servants and the sojourners who lived with you for your cattle also and for your beasts and that are in your land, all that yield shall be for food, and you shall count seven weeks of a year, seven times seven years, so that the time, let's see, uh, seven, seven, seven years, so that the time of the seven weeks of years shall be to your 49 years when you shall send abroad a loud trumpet uh, on the day of the atonement you shall send abroad the trumpet throughout all your land and you shall hallow the fifth year and proclaim the liberty throughout the land to all of the habitation shall be the jubilee for you when each of you shall return to the priority of each of you shall return to the family and the jubilee shall that fifth year be to you in that you shall neither sow nor reap what is grown of itself and nor gather grapes from the undressed vine for it is the jubilee and it shall be holy to you you shall eat what it yields out of the field in the year of jubilee each of you shall return to his property and if you sell your neighbor or buy your neighbor you shall not wrong one another according to the number of years after the jubilee you shall buy them from your neighbor and according to the number of years of the crops shall you sell if the years are many you shall increase the price and if the years are few you shall diminish the price for it is the number of crops to be sell selling to you you shall not wrong one another but you shall fear your god for i am the lord your god therefore you shall do 
my statutes and keep my ordinances and perform them so you will dwell in the land securely and the land will yield fruit and you will eat your fill and dwell in it securely and if you say what shall we eat in the seventh year if we may not sow and gather our crops. I will command my blessing upon you in the sixth year, so it will be or bring forth for you for three years. When you sow the eighth year, you will eat old, pro old produce until the ninth year. And when the produce comes in, you shall eat the old. The land shall not be sold in perpetuity, for the land is mine, for you are strangers and sojourn with me. And in the country you, pose, you possess, you shall grant redemption of the land. If your brother comes, if your brother becomes poor and sells part of his property in the next of kin shall come and redeem what his brother has sold. If the man has no one to redeem it and then himself becomes a uh, perpetuous and finds sufficient mean to redeem it, let him reckon the years since he's sold it and pay it back an overpayment to the man which sold it, and he shall return to his property. But if he is not of sufficient means to get it back for himself, when the uh, then what he has sold shall return to the hand of him who bought it until the year of the Jubilee, and the Jubilee shall be released and he shall return to his property. If a man sells the dwelling house in which was, was in the wall of cities, he may redeem it within a whole year after the sale for the full year. He shall have the right to of redemption. If it's not redeemed within the full year, the house that within the wall city shall be sure and perpetuated to him and brought to it throughout his generations. It shall not be released until the Jubilee, but the house of the vineyard, which no wall around it, then shall be reckoned with the field of the country. They may be redeemed and shall be released in the Jubilee. Nevertheless, the cities of the Levites in the houses of the cities of the possessions of the Levites may be redeemed at any time. If one of the Levites does not exercise his where is it, right to redemption, then the house that was sold in that city, they... city their possessions shall be released in the jubilee for the house in that city of the levites are their possessions amongst the people but the field of common land belongs to their cities and may be sold and the perpetual possessions and if your brother becomes poor and cannot maintain himself you shall maintain him in a stranger and you shall and he shall sojourn and shall live with you. Take no interest from him or increase, but fear your God that your brother may live beside you and you shall not lend him your money at interest, nor give him your food for profit. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan to be your God. 
and your because your brother becomes poor beside you, you sell and you and sells himself to you, you shall not make him a servant or a slave. This shall be with you, and you will hire a servant to sojourn. He shall serve with you until the year of the Jubilee, and then he shall go out from you, he and his children with him, and go back. To his own home and his family and return to the possessions of his fathers for they are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt and shall not be sold. You shall not rule over him or harness, but shall fear God. As for your male and female slaves whom may have, you may buy the male and female slaves from among the nations that are around you. And you may also buy from among the strangers you sojourn and their families in which you who have been born in the land and they may be property. You may Bequit them and your sons after you and inherit as possessions forever. Uh, you may make slaves of them, but your brothers and the people of Israel, you shall not rule over another with a harshness. If a stranger sojourns and becomes rich and your brother becomes your brother beside him becomes poor and sells himself to a stranger or sojourns or the member of the stranger family, then at after he is sold, be may be determined, one of the brothers may be redeemed for him, for his, or his uncle, or his cousin may be redeemed, may redeem him or near kinsmen belonging to the family may redeem him or he grow rich and may redeem him. He shall reckon with him who brought him from the year and he who sold him and the year of the Jubilee and the price of the release shall be according to the number of years and the time was the owner shall be rated at that time and hire the servant. And if their servant are many of the years according to, then he shall refund out of the price that was pray, paid of his redemption. If there be remaining but a few years until the year of the Jubilee, he shall make a reckoning with him and according to the years of the servant due from the redemption as the servant hired and the year shall be with him he shall rule with harshness over him in your sight and if he is not redeemed by these means then he shall be released in the year of the jubilee he and his children with him for to me the people of israel and the servants and they may be the servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt and I am the Lord God. Okay. The Lord showed me that scripture six years ago. Okay. Right before a major shift in my life. Some of your God ordained spouses have been instructed exactly how to operate their businesses, how to hire, how to associate, how to cultivate their streams of income, how to deal with the people in which they are hiring in, how they are to deal with uh, certain people, even the people that have authority and have the ability to walk alongside them. The people that are their brothers, their family, their kinsmen, and so on and so forth. They have had instructions. And because of this, this is where the cultivation of those four stones is. Because this is where the money is. Meaning they've had the grouping of people. 
what happened is somewhere along the lines, they may have uh, let some wrong people in. We are all guilty of it because the enemy will look identical to what God wants. And if you can't make a deciphering decision between the two, they might have chose the wrong person to be a asset. Because remember, Judas was sitting right there with Jesus the whole daggone on time. So they may have had some wrong people that was leeching off of them and leaking the things that they were supposed to cultivate during that time frame. And some of them have been in a season where they have had to dump out the people that they had thought were associates they were supposed to be associated with. And God's showing them they were good for the season that, that I've had in there. I actually allowed them to be your footstools for that season. But now they got to go. And some of your goddamn spouses had to let these people go because God needs the right people who have literally go back to my word. Your husband is at the gate. That, um... He's at the gate or he's opening the gate. But in that, I talk about the fact that there are people that are literally positioned that they just waiting for one move. And then when your God of Jane's spouse moves, this other person can be moved. And the other, a lot of these things, a lot of other moves are being made and there are shifts that are being had. And when certain shifts are had, guess what? There are certain moves that can be made. Some of y'all been waiting on a new lock in place. And once that lock is put in place, then he can come get you. Because there are things that in this cultivated season, he had to shift. Just like the tilling of the ground, the grounds, resting seasons, all of this. He's been doing it. He may not have known he was doing it. But he was doing these some of these things. And some of it, he came off of his posts and got distracted. Do we not talk about the number 79, a woman? <laughs> some of them got distracted by women. <sighs> anyway, um, because of that, they had to go back and redetermine how to cultivate for the next season. Some of us have been in that seven-year cultivation. Some of us are in a resting season. Some of us are about to enter that three-year rest. Because there's things that God has given us in this time frame. When we come into our relationship with our God or Daniel spouse, we're going to have that season of rest. That we're going to be resting for those three years. And that ninth year is... You know, okay, so God has cultivated us for these things. Now, I'm going to have to sit and pray with the Lord to see whether he wants me to do a real dissection of what I just read. But all in all, your God today spouse was given certain directions and that was for River 2. Then he had... The last two rivers, okay? Now, these were two associated streams. Some of your God of Day spouses are gifted enough that the Lord gave them four streams of income. You had the main source, which was the one that gave you the gold, the onyx, the burum, and whatever that fourth conglomeration, all that stone is. You had that. But... And then he had the one that was coming off of Eden. All four were coming out of the, the stream of Eden. Right? But there are two extra streams. God gave them the gifts and the talents that there are some extra streams, which brings me back to what I was talking about when I was talking about uh, the multiplication of um, they've had... Uh, Things that the Lord gave them. Remember in the story of the talons where the guy had given the people the talons. Some buried it. Other person multiplied it by five. Another person multiplied it by ten. Another person uh, kept the one. So on and so forth. Your God or dang spouse knew how to use the streams he had. Some of your God or dang spouses, whatever field 
of industry they were called to. We, what industries did we say in the previous? We said um, real estate. And this, what I just read, for a husband that was, was anointed for real estate? Oh my God, what I just read? This needs to be their entire life journey. This needs to be what they base everything on. This, that whole thing. Come on now. That's what it needs to be about. People that are called to help homeless. Who you think those people that were bought and sold are? The people that were slaves. The homeless people. Some of them were people that uh, are just supposed to be employed by them. But for the ones whose land was bought and sold out from under them and you're supposed to, uh, the, that's the homeless folks, if you didn't know. Some of y'all are supposed to get those homeless folks, put them in a temporary place while you find or help them get back on their feet so that they then can take ownership of their land again. That's what the enemy does not want right now. He's trying to take away land as quickly as possible. And you're supposed to give it back to them. Mm -hmm. So for a real estate agent, oh, that's the scripture. Leviticus 25, the whole Leviticus 25. Next, if they're a community leader, uh, they're supposed to be the one that's supposed to not just change the rules and the laws as according to numbers is it 6 and 22 through 27 or 8 um but the rules the laws the assets so on and so forth not to mention second kings uh 8 and 18 where the woman and some of you are that woman who you're the one that was taken off of your land and you're supposed to be assigned the assistant. Guess who your assistant is? Your husband. You're going to be assigned to them and they're supposed to assist you in getting back all of your assets that you lost up until that degree of time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pay attention to this word. Understand this word. Mm -hmm. That's what God is out here doing. He's trying to set people up. Uh, what else? Uh, community leaders. You got football players. Some of y'all spouses are athletic. Uh, community. They're using their, their stuff in politics. And some of them are athletes. Whether they be the basketball players. Whether they be the football players. Whether they be the soccer players. Whatever it is, but they're using their, their uh, skills that either help the, the youth in the community or they're helping um, helping the homeless, helping all of that kind of stuff. Still using these. They're supposed to call, they're still called to use this kind of, uh, Leviticus 25. Some of you, the you're supposed to be an influencer. For those of you that are called to food influence, guess what? You're supposed to plant, create vineyards, create gardens, create all of this kind of stuff. Pay close attention. There goes the alarm again. I was looking at something on MPT where it was talking about a man who literally took his community. Um, he bought a property and he cultivated the entire land of his entire property within uh, his home. The whole back pool area completely turned into, pay close attention, turned into a garden. He took the, the area outside of, just outside, meaning the street area that he's supposed to take care of, turned that into a garden area too. He got gardens growing up the trees. He's cultivating fruits, vegetables, all these kinds of things. Some of y'all are supposed to do that. You're supposed to buy property and do that. Some of you are supposed to do... Come on now. Some of you are supposed to use your influence to build and create and develop new things. Nutrition. Some people are against veganism. Some people aren't. 
Some of you know nutrition because y'all went through health issues and health scares. And because of that, you, you know the types of things that a person's diet needs that they don't need medication that our entire world seems to be associating with. That's throw medication at people. Maybe you just need to change your diet because you're lacking B12 or B6. Or vitamin this. Or magnesium and calcium. Maybe you need to look up what it is that you're lacking. Because I see what I've noticed lately that a lot of celebrities are like, oh, I don't want to be vegan anymore because of X, Y, and Z. I noticed that when I wasn't eating this, I wasn't, uh, were you taking the supplements you were supposed to take in order to supplement the things that your body was lacking? Yes or no? Before you sit there and tell somebody that they shouldn't do something, are you doing everything that you need to be doing in order to balance your diet? Because it's better to be taking supplements than to be sitting there with a pill case that is full of medication. But no, they don't want to tell you that. Eating good herbs, spices, so on and so forth. Understanding, even understanding, and we're going to go into this. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to come back because it's another part. I got to do, hold on. 